Good morning, everybody. Hey, I'm excited. Woohoo! Look at this. This is my lavalier mic that I've got so that I can actually start doing some better, uh, more in depth trainings, which I've been telling you about. I've also got my. Oh, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Got to show you this because I'm excited. Woohoo! <laughs> I get excited about all this stuff that I do that helps to make this better and to help you guys better. And that's my ring light and that's what I'm excited about that so that it, hopefully the lighting gets better and just trying to improve this overall for you guys. Well, one thing I want to talk about today is just so exciting is based on uh, kind of some insight we had at a mentor session I had this morning. I'm sitting there talking with this young lady. She, she's so awesome. And one of the things I, I love is when people are vulnerable, when they just are open and honest with themselves and, and with me to be able to know how we can help each other. And one of the things we're, we're going through is, I just asked her, I said, well, so what's, what's your biggest challenge? What's the greatest struggle? And she said, honestly, it's, it's weight. And I said, hmm, interesting. So I had her go through this process of telling me to describe weight. What does it feel like to you to lose the weight? What does that feel like to you? And she went through and described it because I'm using her words. And daunting, overwhelming, it's never going to happen. And I mean, just ugh, grueling. And I said, okay, now describe what it would look like to feel, I mean, what, what would it look like to have this weight gone? And she said, oh, just, you know, confidence, happiness. I mean, just all, all the positive things. A few, she had three or four things. And then, you know, she had a longer list of the negative things. And I said, what's interesting is you look at this negative list. And the negative list was much larger than the positive list. And I said, just like we need to reframe our mind and re retrain our mind, how we need to think about triggers in, in life and what, what's going on we need to do that same thing with weight and I said we need to reframe we need to retrain our mind because what we don't realize especially those who are struggling with overweight and struggling and being overweight is that weight has served its purpose but the problem is is we allow it to continue to serve a purpose that it no longer needs to serve so when we're growing up we might, we, we obviously, we, we turn to food as a comfort food or just to, to help release some of the, the anger, the tension, the frustration. We don't know how to manage our life without it. Well, what we need to do is retrain our brain. Now, this, this is the beginning process of learning to manage your weight. So this episode is based around Losing weight. Aha. Uh -huh. Losing weight being the key. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more. Anyways, so we're talking about how we need to get rid of this weight. And I said, well, you know, it did serve its purpose. Don't deny it. Because when we deny it, then it's, it's like we're trying to make it not part of ourselves. And we're trying to deny that we even have this weight, that we it's part of us. And so I told her to break it out. I said... Imagine weight sitting right here, and he, he's been a friend of yours for a long time. He's, hey, what's up, weight? It's cool, man. We on? And he's talking with her and saying, yo, we've been such buddies long time. It's all good, man. Just don't ignore, just ignore this guy, man. Just, just let, don't listen to him. He don't know what he's talking about. He don't know what we all done. And then, <laughs> so I go through this whole process, and I said, if weight is that good of a friend to you, we need to change the behavior. We need to change that relationship. So I said, now he's sitting there next to you. He's got his arm around you and he's all trying to be buddy buddy with you and thinking like everything's all cool, man. And <laughs> I said, is he helping you? Is he helping you to get to where you want to go? And I ask you the same question. Is your weight helping you to get to where you want to go? 
because he's a buddy. He's been there with you for years and sometimes decades. Depends on how old you are. I mean, he's been he's been there a long time. And he's just like a southern buddy that's just going to stay right there with you. <laughs> and so we need to learn that we recognize him and say, you know, wait, you no, know, you did serve your purpose. You were there with me. You know, we we did have this this relationship. But you know what, wait, you no longer serve my purpose. I've learned new strategies to let go of my emotions so that I no longer need to turn to food. I no longer need to go back to my old behaviors, my old ways, my old habits. No, wait, I'm sorry, I'm gonna let you go. So here's the thing that we have to recognize is we so often say, I lose, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. Or I've lost weight. I want you to think about those terms because this is, this is really critical. It's part of our phrase, phraseology in retraining the brain is when we lose something, what is it we want to do? If you lose your keys, what is it you want to do? You want to go out and find it. You want to find that those keys. You want to be able to find your purse. You want to find your wallet because we lost it. Well, when we say we are losing our weight or we've lost weight, we are actually telling our brain that we need to go find it. And we need to go get that weight and bring it back. Because we've lost it. It's like a lost buddy. We, we've lost him. We've got to bring him back. So we've got to retrain our brain that we no longer lose weight. We no longer have lost weight. We have let weight go. We have released the weight. Weight is no longer part of us. He is. He has served his purpose, but he is not going to serve me in the future because I no longer need him for where I'm going. So really be careful as you are referencing weight because it's not something you lose. It's not something that you've lost. You've let it go because losing and something that we've lost, we go seek and find. We want to have it back. Think about the things in life that you have lost. Some of you may have even lost loved ones. You want them back. You've lost your keys, your car keys, your house keys. You want them back. So if we can just start there, just start to retrain the brain, just in that small little thing that I'm no longer losing weight, I'm letting it go or I'm releasing it. It is no longer part of me. Goodbye. And then we make a declaration around it. We make a declaration so powerful that when it comes down to times where we want to eat, you know, the, these sugary foods or something like that. And, I, and this, is, this is the thing I'm going to say. You don't have to stop. You don't have to, you know, stop eating cookies and ice cream and cake and all that. You don't have to. We just have to manage it. Excuse me. So if we have weight, oh, excuse me, I got an itch right there. <laughs> if we don't learn to manage it, that's the problem. And so we need to create a paradigm shift. We need to create a declaration that we can read or say to ourselves, when they bring out the plate of cookies. Have a cookie. One. If you're used to four, have two. Start cutting back. And as you cut back, you say your, your declaration. And your declaration could be something like this. Wait. You served your purpose, buddy. But you know what? I've learned some new things that you're no longer needed. So I'm going to let you go. 
I'm moving forward in a much more positive and hopeful direction with purpose. So thank you for what you did in the past and even up to right now, but I'm going to let you go because I'm going over here and wait, you're not part of it anymore. I'm actually going to be much happier and healthier now that I've learned these new things and I'm moving this way. I no longer lead you, but thank you for what you've done. But now I'm going to, I'm going this way. So goodbye. And you can find, you know, even though that kind of seems silly, it kind of seems almost ridiculous. Like I'm make, talking to this imaginary creature of weight, <laughs> but it's true. He's there. He's there. He's, he's been with you for how many years? And so we need to change that relationship with him. We need to change that relationship. Just like I talked about last week, changing the story. We need to change the story and the relationship with weight. He no longer serves us. He no longer has a purpose in our life. You learn new techniques. I've talked about it throughout all the different uh, videos and podcasts that I've done. Is You've learned how to let go. So let him go. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, wait. See you later. You know, let him go. Because you've got a much greater future ahead. That future out there. The one that you've been hoping for, the one that you've been reaching for, the one that you're anticipating, you know, whether it be a, a new job, a new skill, a new talent, uh, that's where you're going. Your goal is where you're going. And weight is holding you back. Weight keeps you stuck. Weight keeps you right where you are at or just dragging along. Change your relationship with weight. He's no longer part of your life. Let him go so he can move forward. I hope you like this episode. The, the more I think about our relationship with things, we've really got to change our stories. Start off today with weight. No longer lose weight. No longer you've lost weight. You've let it go. You've released it. Because we don't want to find him again. We want to be healthy, happy, energetic, motivated, inspired, encouraged. All those things that we want so we can move forward in our future. Thank you. Please share this. Thank you for listening. Really, I'm grateful. You are amazing. Believe it. Don't go out and say, I've lost weight anymore. Just don't do it. Not good. He's not the buddy you want, man. I'll tell you, he's not the buddy you want. You want to go move forward. That's what you want to do. You want to move forward. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for missing. Please share this. There's many people out there that need to just start implementing these small little changes that will change your life forever. You're amazing. Believe it. Have a fabulous, make it a wonderful, amazing, great day.